I recall qu quite a bit from my time with Aaron. Uh, Aaron was a, a completely different figure and person than what has been portrayed. Uh, I, I can tell you Aaron was a lot more intelligent, a lot more sensitive, a lot more caring uh, than anyone has ever portrayed him to be before. Uh, Aaron was a, a special young man and unfortunately he suffered from a very serious brain disease and as a result I think was significantly misunderstood. The, the case against the NFL is ongoing. It's something that we're trying to pursue for his daughter and, and, and unfortunately these cases move extremely slowly. So uh, as time progresses we're moving forward as fast as we certainly can. Uh, but as thoroughly as we can. I believe Aaron Hernandez was wrongfully convicted because there's a lot of information that did not come out in the Odin Lloyd case that could have and should have come out. He was prosecuted under what is called the joint venture theory, which means the prosecution had no idea who pulled the trigger. So they convicted him on what are referred to as overt acts that may have been in furtherance of that. His CTE, his condition, never played a role in that case, never came up in that case. The possibility of him having that never came up in this case. Uh, in addition to that, there, were, there was other evidence that uh, was not admitted, other evidence that wasn't challenged, that could have been. And uh, as a result, I think that Aaron did not receive a fair trial and that Aaron uh, could have been acquitted of that case had he uh, have presented his defense in, in a different manner. If Aaron can't and his legacy can carry some good, it's to show that even at a very young age, you can have this disease and it could spread and perhaps uh, create all kinds of tragedies or be uh, ultimately end up in someone committing suicide. So. I, I really, I really hope that's what people take away from Aaron's legacy, that he changed things and hopefully changed them for the better.